I just like the sound. Wahane! 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 Ha! Ah! Read. Remember. Repeat. If y'all know what come first in this show, we definitely showing love. If y'all know my body, y'all know we showing some love on this show. Shout outs to Doc Spills and Iron Mastery Academy. Like I told you, they making trading simple. Learning how to invest by just simply matching your colors. You match your colors and you win trades, man. I'm telling you guys, this is simple. And I think this is what we all should be getting into as far as managing our own money and managing our own finances. Golf course. Talking about pains and diamonds. Wrist watch, go tick tock. But it ain't there for the time. And I put that boy on payroll. He conversate with the Surround your mind with greatness. Some of it will rub off. This is my office. This is where I start my day. And every day I read something. Form a habit of reading every day. It's about property. Yeah. Focus and always, 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 family. Remember this: read, remember, and repeat. Oh, all man, you have to do is that. Big, big Mitch, man. Thank you. Miraculous day game. How was everybody feeling? Or should I say miraculous night? Right. Um, I ain't gonna lie, man. I wasn't even thinking about doing it today. I wanted to rest. You know what I mean? It's only reading, right? But you realize. Sometimes you're using your brain in other ways and um, makes you tired. I did my own reading today. I went to the gym. I did a lot. I was just watching a movie with the kids. So it's like you know, um, when you when your day is productive, you know, you um, you kind of feel good and you you know you can't get that relax button. But I definitely was not gonna leave y'all hanging, man. Um, I'm doing this for y'all, like I said, and um, just 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 spreading the the, the word and to to literature. You know what I mean? If y'all hear the kids on the side, they are definitely up. Um, it's nine o'clock. Let me get this to y'all. You know what I mean? This framework gives your, okay, let's start from the top. You will be creating an energetic framework of what you must draw towards you from the outside world to realize your new reality in a manner that enhances all parts of your life. This framework gives your inner resources, powerful guidance and noticing and attracting the right people, events, and experiences into your life. It is time to take your new reality from abstract. Many people have difficulty imagining things in a full and detailed way. But if you cannot imagine and create something internally, you will find it difficult to create in the world. If you are keeping a circle journal, you may want to record your wish, your new reality. Write or draw a detailed representation of your new reality. Be as descriptive as you can, as if you were experiencing your life today with all of the detail that surrounds you. Do not be concerned if you cannot immediately envision every single aspect of your new reality. Throughout the coming days and weeks, both your intuition and the events that you will be creating in your life will give you new details to add to your description. You may want to rewrite your wish at the end of chapter of each chapter as you as you master the elements of the circle and as your wish becomes more of a reality in your life. Now that you have described your wish, take a moment to embody it fully with all your senses. The senses are a universal language of being. Our senses are mechanisms for receiving information. Our brain takes this raw data and uses it to draw conclusion and create understanding. Even the most abstract cerebral concepts of physics and mathematics are based on what we experience through our five senses. Don't simply visualize your new reality. Speak your new reality aloud. Experience it with all of your senses. Breathe and fill every atom of your being with your new reality. What does it smell like? What sounds surround it? What does it feel like? Now look around you. Observe how your life has changed now that you are living your dream. Where are you within the new reality that you have created? How do you think? How do you look? Who is with you? How do others look to you? This process of embodying, of fully, of fully 
experiencing what you are creating, you should be repeated. This process of embodying, of full experiencing what you are creating should be repeated as often as possible. You can do so as a ritual at set times each day or whenever this inspiration moves you. Each time you do, your wish becomes a true part of you and of your life. And you are that much closer to your new reality. At first, it may be difficult to embody your new reality. There may be a place within you that cannot fully feel it, see it, or experience your wish. Learning to embody fully takes time and practice. The more fully you can embody your wish in the present, the more quickly it becomes real and fact. If, for whatever reason, you simply cannot embody your new reality, pretend. When you were a toddler, you pretended that you could read and look. Now you can. Sometimes we must take baby steps to our new reality. One way to embody your new reality is through reality tales. A reality tale is a story or collection of stories about how your new reality was created. Remember, it already exists. Family, this is source time. Y'all already know what it is, right? Um, Let's jump right back to it. Nine proofs you can increase your brain power in a week. The human brain is probably the most mysterious organ in our body. Scientists keep learning new facts about its work, but it still hides a lot of secrets. That's why we decided to acquaint you with the brightest discoveries of the last few years in the field of brain research. There are a few simple ways to boost your intellect and improve your brain power, and they will surely surprise you. <laughs> Golly, I could sure use that. Well, keep sitting there and you'll learn something. Number 9. Chronic lack of sleep worsens memory. Scientists from the University of California at Berkeley have found convincing proof that a lack of sleep can worsen memory and cause Alzheimer's. During a full night's sleep, brain cells remove toxic compounds dangerous for our brain. If a person never gets enough sleep, it has a devastating effect on their brain cells. Number 8. Prolonged stress destroys the brain. A decrease in memory, in the ability to learn, in self-control, these are the consequences that chronic stress is fraught with. Also, it contributes to a person feeling irritation, anxiety, tension, and often being distracted. Number 7. Love and hate have a lot in common. British scientists found that love and hate originate in similar brain areas. However, unlike hatred, love significantly reduces the activity of the areas responsible for judgment and logical thinking. Well, that explains a lot. <laughs> yeah, keep sitting there, man. Number 6. The brain is sensitive to dehydration. Our brain is almost 80% water. Therefore, even a moderate loss of fluid, about 2%, reduces concentration and vigilance and leads to the deterioration of short-term memory and other cognitive abilities. Number 5. Pregnancy changes the brain structure. Scientists prove that pregnancy reduces the amount of gray matter in the brain areas responsible for social cognition and the ability to understand other people. All of it is necessary to strengthen the mother-baby connection, help a woman understand the needs of her child, and notice possible external dangers. Number 4. The abundance of sugar in the diet worsens memory and reduces the ability to learn. The abundance of fructose in the diet slows down the brain and reduces its ability to learn, remember information, and concentrate. This is because the excess sugar destroys neural connections in the brain. Scientists emphasize that industrially produced sugar is much more harmful, added to soft drinks, seasonings, sauces, and baby food. However, products containing omega-3 fatty acids, such as fatty fish, nuts, and fish oil, remove the consequences of the disorder. So, we should have a can of sardines with a root beer. Mmm, yum. Number 3. Romantic love and maternal feelings are very similar. 
It turns out, according to brain activity, romantic relationships and maternal feelings are very similar, but there are differences as well. For example, passionate love activates the brain areas related to sexual arousal. In addition, the feeling of anxiety and fear decreases, and the feeling of euphoria increases. Maternal love activates the areas responsible for the formation of affection. Aww. Number 2. Painting improves the work of the brain. A study showed that painting and contemplations of works of art improve the interaction between brain areas while slowing its aging. Scientists studied the influence of art on people aged 62 to 70 years old. Half of them took a course in art history, and the other half took a course in painting. Painting classes gave a stronger result than art history. So pick up a brush. And number 1. Reading trains the brain. Oxford scientists prove that the process of reading trains the cognitive abilities of the brain. It also activates areas that aren't used at other times. While reading, blood enters the brain areas responsible for concentration and cognition. It's noteworthy that this effect doesn't occur while watching TV or playing computer games. So what are you waiting for? Grab an interesting book and give your brain a great workout. Tolstoy, anyone? Hey, count me in. <laughs> Are we talking about War and Peace or Anna Karenina? And we are back, gang. It is late night. This is the late night episode, and we are on the circle. We are on the circle. You know what I mean? Let's go. A reality tale is intended only as one possible scenario, not a prediction. For example, let's say a person's new reality is to earn her living through her art. A reality tale might go something like this. I gave some of my poetry, my favorite hobby, away as gifts. A woman at a friend's dinner party saw a piece that I had made. As it turns out, the person ran a design department for a chain of stores. She asked for my phone number and called me for an interview to design a line of pottery for her stores. Within a few months, I received other offers. I felt secure enough to quit my job at the accounting firm. This step had the added benefit of leaving me the time and energy to go to the gym regularly. After a short time, I was in great shape and more relaxed than ever. At the gym, I met a wonderful man on the treadmill next to mine. We were married later that year and moved into a great apartment that had studio space so that I could work at home. Your reality tale can be as short or as long as you like. You can write a new one each day in your journal as a ritual. Think, sing, write as many as you are inspired to do. Reality takes Reality tales prime your intellect, intuition, and subconscious mind to notice opportunities that will help you realize your wish. They put your master plan into the circle while allowing you to focus your energy and the energy of others and the universe on your new reality. Your new reality may materialize in a completely different way from that envisioned in your reality tales, but you will be surprised how often they are prophetic. It is important to embody your wish because everything you think, everything you feel, and everything you do are reflected in the world. Our whole universe is composed of atoms. These atoms all work together. A single atom changes, it affects its neighbors, which affect, which affect theirs, rippling out and, and ultimately affecting all of the other atoms in the universe. You too are composed of atoms. The atoms that compose you are constantly being affected by all of the other atoms of the universe. Yet atoms in turn are constantly affecting every other atom in the universe. When the information in your atoms changes, this change affects every other atom of your being, of the world, of the people around you, and the people at a distance, and of even past, present, and future. In short, when you change yourself, you change the people and events around you. By embodying your wish as if it has already occurred, you reprogram 
have not only yourself, but also the universe. Each of us is both a transmitter and a receiver. When we meet a new person, a series of unconscious questions almost instantane instantaneously runs through our minds. For example, who is this person? What is his history? What does he want? What can he offer? The messages that the person is sending out are picked up by both our conscious and unconscious mind, which provide us with the answers to these questions within moments of making contact. The people we encounter, even our own friends and family, ask many of the same questions of us, for better or worse. Our signals become embodied in others and are reflected in their ideas and actions. You are sending out signals all the time. These messages are blueprints for other people in the world to find you, react to you, and connect with you in a certain way. What you are is reflected in every person, action, and event around you. Everything you think and feel is experienced and reacted to by the environment and by the people around you. To a great extent, you are what you believe you are, and the world responds accordingly. Think of a tuning fork that creates sympathetic vibration in others, quite literally. Whatever massage, message, whatever message you embody will resonate in others. In this moment, everyone around you, whether in the same room or miles away, is receiving and responding to your thoughts and feelings, just as you are responding to theirs. This mutual process occurs even when you and they are separated by space or time. Neither you nor they may be aware of this process. The only evidence that the subliminal communication is indeed taking place is in the reactions in your environment. You may think, I wish Jane would call. When out of the blue, Jane calls. You may feel angry with your husband just when he walks into the room, surprised, acting defensively. You may feel positive about your professional abilities just before job offers syn synchronistically come rolling in. When you are in love, you attract love. Just as you accept a job offer, another always seems to follow. Family, we are on page 30 of the circle. Um, Hey man, right, right, right in the comments, let me know what y'all think, man. You know what I mean? Let's go. Peach cobbler, sweet potato pop on the side of a lobster. Big money, we mobsters. Big money, we monsters. Big talk for the big walkers. A hundred bears for a slick talk.